Hi everyone, welcome to School of Scarlet. Today I have another message for you. So today's message is a message of urgency and warning. I don't particularly like to give these sorts of messages, but I really just let spirit flow through me. And today's message is coming around that. So today I would really like you to stay tuned to the very end so that you can really get, gain a total understanding of this warning if it is resonating with you. So as y'all know, I'm very much led by nature. And in my previous video, I mentioned the snake, the snail, and the slug. And in today's video, it's going to be about the rat. Now this morning I went out to my front porch and there was a rat. And it wasn't just one rat, I saw a couple of rats. And I've never ever seen rats on my porch. I've seen raccoons, but I've never ever seen rats. Previous to seeing these rats, I had gotten some information about a church that I used to attend. And basically just a lot of gossip that things were going down in that church, that there was all kinds of problems. And the way that it was described to me was that there is rats in the corn. So that message is coming through strongly that there is rats in the corn. What does this mean? It means that it's time to look at what is going on in our lives, to check our boundaries, check our fences, make sure that everything is secure because there are rats in the corn. It is time to look at those areas. There could be some areas of your life that there is something or someone there that does not belong there anymore. A trickster, someone that's manipulating, someone that may be stealing, something that may be going behind your back. This could be in business. This could be in a relationship. This could be in anything that is resonating with you about. So it's time to check the corn. Check it regularly. Check it throughout the times that you feel is necessary to see. Are there any rats in the corn? It what needs to come out? There are rats in the corn. They need to leave. They do not belong in your reality. So get them out. And if these rats are there, it is time, time to look at your boundaries. Are your boundaries in place? Is everything that you want for yourself strong? Are you strong? Is everything that you have clean? Are you allowing negative energies or negative thoughts to consume you? This may not just be a person. What's also coming through right now as I'm saying these words is that it could be a thought form that someone else has planted in you. So let's say that you as a child were told that you are not smart or you will never do anything great in this world. All of a sudden that thought form is now planted in your mind and you see this thought form was never a thought form of yours. You actually are capable. You are actually able to do anything. But once this thought form gets planted in your mind, it recurs or it shows up again when you are being tested or when you are going forth in whatever it is that you're doing. The thought form begins to take over your mind and remind you that you cannot do it, that you are not capable, that someone has told you you are not able to ever do such and such thing or that this thing is wrong with you or that this thing is about uh, something that's going to cause you harm, anything. It could even be fearful thoughts. It could be, you know, anything like that, superstitions, any of that. They could be planted in you and that is signifying rats in the corn. So you can also think of it as a thought form in your mind. It doesn't necessarily have to be a person. Somehow we are allowing something into our sacred space and it's time to clear it out. It's time to get it out. So you all may be experiencing some sort of anxieties or uneasiness or sort of an ungrounding, okay, that has been felt here as well. And it is not just happening with us that are going through what we could call kind of this ascension journey. We are all moving together. We are a collective. So even those beings that you may look at and think, oh, they're very fear-based or, you know, they're in their own other world. They're hanging on to the old worldly things. Um, no, everybody is moving forward together. And so this is affecting everybody. But it's affecting those that have not opened their heart a lot more. And so because of this, there's going to be a lot more suffering, a lot more um, chaos, you could say, in these people. And in turn, it's going to affect us as we move forward. But we must clear those rats from the corn. We must continue to check the corn and get it clean. We don't need these things in our reality. So as we begin to see them, we can feel them and allow them to pass, recognizing that they are only there temporarily as we as a collective ascend to a much higher consciousness. So that is what's coming through here today. Um, I'm just kind of checking in and seeing if there's anything else. Okay, I also hear that there is a rug being pulled up underneath us. So it may feel to a lot of us and to a lot of the people that you may consider unawakened or whatever like that, 
that a rug is being pulled from underneath them. There is no safety anymore. They have to deal with the emotions. They have to deal with the things that they have created for themselves. And that may be for you as well, or for me as well. It could be that the rug is being pulled underneath all of us is what I'm seeing. So anything that has not come to light, any truths or lies or anything that has been hidden is now coming up to the surface to be cleaned. So what I'm also hearing is what doesn't come out in the wash comes out in the rinse. So you may have been going through a purification um, process or maybe people that you know have been. And so they're going through, let's say, that wash. And we seem like we're clean. We seem like it, everything's aligning or whatnot. But what is coming through now is that there's going to be a rinsing process. And the rinsing process can really kind of shake up our nervous system. So it's important to ground ourselves, to get good sleep, to get sunlight, to meditate, to write, to journal, to explore and feel our emotions in this time, to be gentle with ourselves, provide ourselves with self-love, and to be gentle with those others, even if they are the rats, to be gentle with those rats as well, because they are also part of us collectively as we are going through this. So even those rats, it's time to be gentle with them, but not allow them to continue to live in the corn, not allow them to continue to live in our reality, to really separate ourselves from this in this time. The world will get chaotic for a little bit, as many of you have probably noticed. The polarities are very much shifting and moving, and those things that need to come up to be seen um, for truth will be seen. And this will be seen in the media. This will be seen all around us. So it's time for truth to be shown. The dark feminine is coming through and revealing all truths. So it's time to look at that. But the real message here coming through was that there are rats in the corn. So y'all look around your surroundings, your businesses, your home, uh, the people you surround yourself with and figure out where are these rats and get them out of your corn. So I hope that this message resonated with you today. If it did, give me a thumbs up, a heart, comment down below how it resonated with you. Uh, I will catch you on the next message and I love you all.